Hey guys, it's Ty Alexander. My, why can't I ever get the intro right? This is so stupid. It's just my name. Hey guys, what's up love? Hey, how you doing? Like, what up girl? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today's video, I'm gonna try on a bunch of designer eyewear. I got a few boxes from a good friend, Utenzi Miller. I say friend, I eye roll because we're not really friends, but internet friends. I love her just the same. She's like my good, good girlfriend. But Utenzi Miller is a opt optometrist. Optometrist? Opt She's an eye person. She's the eye doctor. <laughs> She is based out of New Jersey and she has a shop, a boutique called Elegant Eyes and she sent me a few boxes of designer eyewear. You guys know my signature Celine's are my favorite. So today, you and me are gonna pick out a new pair of designer frames. So let's get started. All right, so this is what the box looks like on the inside is her logo elegant eyes and there's four in each box i got three boxes four times three you did the math is that 12. i'm a writer not a mathematician <laughs> anyway all right so first pair these are some tom ford cat eyes and hmm, they're not bad they're they're not horrible. They're not doing it all the way for me, I don't think. I feel like, I feel sexy either way though. <laughs> I beat my face today. These feel like, these feel like sexy librarian and that's never really the look that I'm going for even though I do, my friend taught me to do this with your, um, with your smile lines. I don't know if that works, but that work drop a comment below if you have tips on smile lines because my smile lines are out of control okay they are large and in charge like my pores anyway so these are the first pair the Tom Ford um they're they're okay we'll be thinking leave a comment below the oh don't break these expensive frames girl the next pair is from Emmanuel Kahn. Second pair of designer frames. I like these, but these are just these are just regular. There's nothing amazing about them. They do have, if you can see, they do have some kind of tortoise-ish design on the legs of the frames, but they're cool. They're really cool. I do, I do like the size of them. Whenever I'm looking at a designer frame, I'm looking for the size of the frame to be really kind of bold. I did learn from Utenzi that this space right here shouldn't be like super big, um, but there should be enough. And your brows should always be above your glasses. Learn something new today, girl. All right, next pair. Next pair is from Karen Walker. Karen Walker is probably my favorite eye frame designer. And that is until Utenzi does her own collection because when she does her collection and names a pair of frames after me, those will then be my favorite. See what I did there? <laughs> All right, so here are the Karen Walkers. And these are, these are pretty prestigious, right? They feel very, mm, like, mm. <laughs> I like these a lot too. They're so, she sent me so many good ones. So I think I forgot to mention what she does is kind of curate the boxes for you. I think it's like $100 to have a box, a try on box sent to you. And then you have to send it back within seven days, but you get the box, you can try them on, see which ones fit right on your face, all that good stuff. But she sent me so many pairs of glasses. It was, it's really hard to, kind of figure out which ones I like the best. Um, so these are, mm, girl, don't give me the line. <laughs> My head itches, sorry guys. These are from Boygan, Bougainville. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I think. Somebody from France is where it's from. Um, these, are, these aren't bad. 
These feel very, I love, I do love a bold frame that has, that is like a different kind of eye shape. So I love this, whatever this shape is. And I have no idea what this shape is. Although, do I look cross-eyed? I feel like I look cross-eyed. No, I don't like those. <laughs> All right, next box, next box, next box. I got, oh, okay, so these are from Cole and Caftans. And these are, ooh, girl, look at these. Yeah. I don't know, Utenzi, these, second thought, these might be, although I do feel like there's, so my, my, my one worry with frames is always like eye makeup because I do still wear makeup. So usually I like to have a frame that's kind of big enough where it can see that, see my eyes. I feel like with this design, because it's so dark right here, that it's creating a little shadow on my eye, which would mean that I wouldn't be able to kind of, unless I did like a, cause I could do like my favorite, my favorite, uh, blue liner under there i could do that that could maybe work but i feel like it's it's giving me a little bit of a shadow that i don't hate mind you i just don't think i need it but these are these are good i like these mm -hmm. she's good <laughs> all right so she included a pair of celines because she knows i love a celine glasses um, and these are kind of tortoise tortoise, tortoise. They got some brown design on them. And see, I like these too. Oh, she bought to have me spending $10,000 on some glasses. These are cool too. I love the turquoise that is right here. The turquoise blend that happens. And of course those three little dots they tell you that they're Celine. They're, they're, they're good ones. Um, but I like these. The swoop, I like a lot too. The, the even kind of whatever swoop this is. I think that's a good one. I like that. Even though I do kind of, I feel, I kind of feel like they age me just a smidget. But then again, I mean, she's 43 and fabulous. <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> All right, next pair are from Hanu, Hana, Hanu. Can't really pronounce any of these things. I don't really know. Um, these are interesting. These are interesting. I don't love them. The frame, so what I do love about these is the tortoise from here to here and kind of the blend into the black. I definitely love that a lot. These are, that's, that's a good one. Um, the shape of them, I'm not in love with the shape. Confused by the shape, just a smidge. Next pair, these are, hmm, these are from, girl, who can read this stuff? I think these are crew. These are from crew. <laughs> um, I love these. These are like, Probably one of my like girl look girl this this is when you pull up on the scene like oh my god it's so good to see you yes <sighs> yeah these are these are good I like these I like these a lot I can kind of pose just. <laughs> Why come when you pose, you always put your tongue out like, <laughs> you look retarded, girl. Anyway, next pair. Oh, next box. I'm on to another box. All right, all right, all right, next box. And we're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done. So, wait, no, I tried those on already. I did that one. Next box, this box. Yes, okay. So these are also Celine. And when we had our FaceTime, she told me that these were a little too big because of how they kind of hide my brows and come down a little too far. Um, 
and these would pro these would probably do better as like a sunglasses like a big kind of shade um type of thing but and i'm also not in love with the color the color makes me feel like i would have to wear makeup all the time but celine's i do love i do love all right the next pair are from emmanuel khan again and they're blue they're real, these are really pretty though these are these are a good one these are really pretty i like how these look um uh, let's see Ooh, you know when we had our consultation utenzi i didn't love these but seeing them on with my makeup in this good old glorious melanin illuminating light i'm changing my mind oh these are good these are good these are good right comment below if you think these are good comment below if you think these are it are these it so the thing about it is, is i have one other pair of blue glasses how many pairs of blue glasses do i need even though Pantone tells us that classic blue is the color of 2020, so I will already be ahead of the game, girl. But I don't know. I don't know. She's good, though. She's real good. I like her. <laughs> All right, next pair is a pair of clear ones, actually. People tend to shy away from clear glasses because they're so hard to do. But if you can see, they have... Wait, can we get... Wait. Focus on this. Yes. No, not me. This. <laughs> Either way, they have the tortoise just on the top end of it. Uh, the, 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 the outside, um, the ridges of the glasses is only where the tortoise design is. And here are the clear ones. The clear ones are nice, but I feel like you got to be way up in my face to even see the design. Like, you got to be... You are way too close for my comfort if you know that I have this kind of design. Like... From afar, it just looks like a clear glasses. And for a designer frame, they need to pop. All right, so we went to the clear ones. And these are probably my favorite ones. I actually requested more of the Karen Walkers. I love these ones. They're just the right shape. I think I would like them in black, though. Can we see? I think I would like them in black, but I love the shape of them. Even though this tortoise print... She looks rich too. She's a very, if you don't know, my theme for 2020 is rich auntie. Like I need to exude the richness that a rich auntie, the, the aunt that moved away from the trauma and then got rich and only comes home like t every 10 years. I'm that aunt. <laughs> so listen, I don't have to be the only cool kid on the block. You too can get your own designer frame box curated by utenzi miller just go right here i'll leave the website right here and order your box today make sure you tell her i sent you in the meantime make sure that you like comment subscribe hit the bell do all those things that you're supposed to do when you're watching someone's youtube channel so until next time toodles